Good afternoon, Colin here with Tech Out, and very, very excited for this unboxing. This is the new Alpha Labs Route 10 router right here, their 10 gigabit router right there. They sent this out for me to check out, so thank you for that. Um, I also have their access points, their switch, their outdoor access point, their local controller, um, all of which they've provided for uh, review and uh, my participation on the forum. I'm able to try things out and give them feedback and stuff like that. So it's really, really fun. Um, and I've been looking forward ever since I got those access points, which was the first thing they came out with. Um, they were cloud controlled and then the controller came out. Um, and now this is out and this is the piece that completes the whole thing. This is the whole part of the network that is not yet Alta. Um, and in just a few minutes, it will be. So I'm very excited to see that. that. Um, so this is about the same size if you have the controller. Um, this is about the same size as the controller. Um, it's a little bit heavier, I think. I haven't picked up the controller in a while, but we have uh, four 2.5 gigabit um, ethernet ports right here. Um, and these are, two of them are PoE compatible. So if you only need to power a couple access points, um, you can do that right here from the router. And um, it also has SFP. These are 10 gigabit each. Uh, like I said, all these are 2.5. Your power on the back there. Um, and this is supposed to be getting a rack mount um, accessory so you can rack mount this. Um, looks like it's probably gonna be something that it just sits, sits on or snaps onto because there's nothing on the side to put any ears on and it's fairly short. Um, hopefully, I, I think they're coming out with something for the controller as well. So maybe you can put these side by side in a rack. I think that would fit um, pretty good. So that would be very cool. I do know that's going for the router at least. We have your wall mount um, little tab here. So you put that on the wall and then this clips onto it. Um, if you want to wall mount this, um, which I'm not going to. It's going to go in my network cabinet on a shelf. And then we have the power cord right here. Um, it does come with the wall mount stuff right there, wall mount screws, anchors. And then we have your different uh, power cables, the power prongs here for different countries. Um, so go ahead and snap the US one on here. So I'll go ahead and put that one on there for the US because that's where I am. And I'm going to go put this in my cabinet real quick and then I'm going to come back and I will be taking you guys along to the setup here on my computer. Um, I think I have an SFP, another SFP cable so I can do um, SFP to SFP directly to the switch instead of using a RJ45 uh, Ethernet cable. So if I find that I will do... Um, the 10 gigabit to the switch and then the 2.5 gigabit from my modem. Um, I have a 2.5 gigabyte, 2.5 gigabit compatible modem um, with 2 gig uh, service. So um, got plenty of overhead there um, for downloads and stuff like that. Because some of my devices are wired and then some of them are on Wi-Fi. So if you use them all together, you can definitely hit that uh, hit that speed. So we'll be able to try this thing out. But um, I'm gonna go like I said, get it plugged in. Um, just get that stuff connected and get the old one moved and I'll come back to, on my computer and we'll go ahead and go to the uh, web address and get it set up. All right, so we're here on my uh, the local controller. Um, the router does not show up in here. I can tell you though, I did just plug it in and turn it on and I immediately have, um, have an internet connection. So that is good to see. Uh, but we're gonna go over and go to 192.168.1.1 and we should get the router's uh, web page here. Maybe. Thinking about it. It doesn't show up in the uh, in here to add to this, so it looks like it's gonna be its own separate, uh, separate deal. We'll just give that a second here. See if it does anything. Let's see. All right, we're not getting anything. try to, I might need to 
uh, clear my browser cache because it's a different. Um, there we go. It was Safari's fault. All right, so we're going to go back to the controller real quick. Uh, we just need the address. We need that whole thing. Internet connected. Set up internet. So we're going to use that one. DHCP. No. New. No. Automatic. I'm going to move this over here real quick, just in case it pops up with a. Um, Let's see if we can get this connected to the local controller. All right, there we go. So I just went back to the, the local controller. We're gonna, I'm gonna close that for a second. And we're just gonna, hope we have to set up. All right, so we're gonna call it router. And again, I'm going to move it over here real quick just in case uh, any information pops up. Uh, all right, so it looks like it added. Um, so I don't see many settings here. Um, it does show we have you know, our ethernet right here, WAN one, and then that is our SFP um, to the switch, which is this one right here. Um, I am gonna have to redo these IP addresses because I did have these set to static and it looks like a couple of them, um, well the switch got a new address for everything else is where I left it. I just use like one through six on those. Um, let's see, let me go back to, Okay, please use the controller for further configuration. All right, so um, <coughs> let's see, what can we configure? So we just have the ports here. Um, don't need that. Don't need the radius server. Um, and then VPN, IPsec. All right, so let's see, where are all the settings? I might need to update it too. That's all the stuff that's been there. All right, I'm gonna update this real quick and then we'll come back. All right, so I've been looking around for a little bit and I did find uh, most of the settings. So, um, of course, you've got your statistics right here. Um, you can see the traffic and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm just gonna go through some of these. So, um, static IP, DHCP, uh, and PPPoE, WAN support. Obviously, that was in the setup, we saw that. Um, VLAN and QoS tagging on WAN support. I believe that is... Um, over here somewhere. Um, but you can change the mode for the port. Um, that's number one, so WAN number one, which is this port right here. Uh, yeah, here's just VLAN right here. And then you can add um, VLANs and everything right there. I do need to check and see if my IPv6 is working, because um, I did enable that. Um, I'm not too sure the difference between WAN 1, WAN 2, and WAN 12.590 and 22.591 are. 
on the WAN settings right here, but this was automatically selected, so I'm just gonna leave leave that as is. Um, if anybody knows what that is, let me know. Uh, firewall configuration, DS and DNS repeater. I don't see any DNS settings. I'm assuming that's just kind of automatically uh, configured in there. Um, but the firewall configuration, you can click um, click the port, and it takes you just to the firewall settings right here. Um, so you can add firewall rules and all that kind of stuff. Uh, where'd the one go that I just added? Um, so you can do that, and then there's your port forward and uh, NAT rules right there. Uh, UPnP support, uh, MDNS forwarding, dynamic DNS client. I don't know, I don't see any DNS settings. It also says the dynamic DNS uh, client is a coming soon feature, so I don't know, it's on both of these lists. Um, Real-time statistics reporting, like we said, we just saw that, radius server for the IPsec VPN. I um, believe that is in system down here. I saw it somewhere a minute ago, but I believe it's in there somewhere. And then I know the um, other stuff is uh, under VPN right here. The, oh, it's right here, IPsec, uh, router information, and stuff like that. And then let's see, IPv6 support. Again, that's just gonna be something that's kind of automatic. There's not gonna be like a setting for it unless you wanna enable it or disable it, which I think I saw that in on the WAN port settings. Uh, no. I enabled it, so I know I saw it somewhere. But I don't remember where. Mm, where did I see that? Hmm. It's not on the Wi Fi. Where did I see it? Am I losing it? I don't know where it went, but it was in here, um, and I enabled it. So uh, we'll find that later. But there we go. And then if you want to do um, like a static IP for a device, all you have to do is go to the device and click on it and then go over here um, to the IP address. Um, and if you wanna assign an IP address, uh, if you have the router, you just leave it blank and it'll it'll assign it from the DHCP server on the router. Um, or you can just type the static one right here and the DHCP server on the router will assign that device, that IP address. So like the Alta control right here, um, we're gonna give that, let's see. If I do 192.168.7, and then we just hit save. I'll go back over here. Hasn't updated yet. Sometimes it'll take a second before it'll refresh. It does have it in the box here though, so it's probably just gonna take a second for it to for it to change, but. Um, all that's working. Everything is uh, working just fine. I don't know what these updates are. 2.2a um, because there's no. We're on 2.0z and that is the last in the release notes. But I'm just updating these and uh, we'll see what is new in a bit, I guess. Uh, do this one too at the same time. But that is the router. It was really easy to set up. Like I said, it was pretty much plug and play, and um, it was working. Like as soon as I plugged it in, we had an internet connection. And then we just had to go in here to add it to the uh, controller and um, set it up from there. And you can customize all your settings and all that kind of stuff right in here. It's kind of all, all instead of there being a, a settings page um, for each little setting, it's kind of just built in as it needs to be on different you know places like the DHCP and the static, you know, just being under here under devices. Um, it, ha it hasn't changed yet, but we'll give it some. We'll give it a minute. Um, so yeah, that's pretty pretty cool to see. Um, and it looks like the DHCP range is just gonna be 192.168.1. You know, whatever. I don't believe there's anywhere you can change that right now because um, I don't see any DHCP settings. So that's something I'll ask them 
about oh it's got all the wired devices showing up on there um because like i said there's really no no settings other than um what is right there so i'm going to play around with it and uh, this is kind of like just the initial setup and stuff like that obviously because i just just set it up but um as new features roll out and as i find stuff and figure stuff out um and play around with it then i'll be able to uh to show you guys some more stuff so that is the alta labs route 10 router i'm Colin tech out over to comment rate and subscribe and as always have a great day